Dania yang ni sos baru tu sos apa? Sos baharu. Chicken for the world, ala kat take away. I think it's like normal for the world, then you add the sauce. Yeah. Look at this. Paper bag for this. So it's midnight, uh, three o'clock, three something. Uh, can't really sleep. Just finished some work, and I'm gonna sleep after this. So, roll the intro. Okay, so this is the fast food I'm gonna to try today. Is the McDonald? What's the name again? Chicken for the world. For your kind of information, a uh, Malaysia official religions is Islam, and in this month is a uh, bulan Ramadan, Ramadan month, which means within another month, it's gonna be a New Year for the Muslim in Malaysia and all over the world. Back to the fast food today. Uh, this is a chicken for the world. Uh, there's actually nothing special compared with the previous chicken for the world. And what is different is only the sauce. So this is the chicken for the world and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to eat a few bites uh, without this then I'm going to add this patty and yeah and see how. Let's do it. Mm, this mayonnaise or cheese? It's cheese. Mm. I'm not sure you can see or not. Hey! You see it? Face detections. Yeah. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, there's quite a lot of cheese here. Hmm. So, we we'll try this. Uh, Kwa curry uh, is curry sauce. So, this is actually quite common in most of the Malay food or even Chinese food in Malaysia. Uh, I don't think I should pour it. Maybe I just dip it.
Nothing special about this kwa curry, it's just a normal kwa curry. Uh, slightly spicy. Uh, if you want to try, just bear in mind that it is slightly spicy. Uh, yeah, and what I want to mention here is actually uh, the mixture between this fodoa and this curry sauce is actually very good. Okay, review time. Uh, overall for this chicken for the world, uh, plus this, uh, okay, the chicken for the world itself, I will rate it seven point five eight out of ten. It's actually delicious even without this. Uh, is. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy. A little bit of cheese inside this chicken for the world. And there's some chicken, and yeah, obvious. And the wrap, and some vegetable. I'll give it 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Uh, the only bad side about this for the world is uh, I. Uh, I'm actually expecting more vegetables. 7.5, 8, 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Uh, it's delicious. This kwa curry, yeah, just a normal kwa curry, uh, slightly spicy. Yeah, of course, uh, it's not as spicy as this ghost pepper noodles. <laughs> uh, I bought it a few days ago. Uh, I like to re challenge this ghost pepper noodles again yeah if you don't know what i'm saying uh here's the link i see man hey <gasps> ah! i'm quite confident that i'm i'm a uh, above average above average <laughs> this kwa curry uh this normal slightly spicy kwa curry plus this delicious 7.5 maximum 8 chicken for the world all together, both mixed together, I will rate it 8.5, maximum 9 out of 10. It's delicious. Uh, I'm actually recommending you to try this. Uh, slightly spicy, but both together is a very perfect match. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> she is excited. I am recommending. Uh, if you are not from Malaysia, uh, yeah, too bad if you are from Malaysia. Yeah, you should go and try it. Just bear in mind that this is lightly spicy. So, you might need to order a drink as well. 
Yeah, so that's all for my review about this follower with the sauce, with the new sauce. And for those Muslim friends in Malaysia or all over the world, uh, all the best in your fasting month, in your bulan Ramadan, and Happy New Year, Selamat Hari Raya.